welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to improve the performance of the new Call of Duty Mobile in Game Loop. To start off with, first you need to open up Game Loop, and once you have, you need to click on the three lines and go down to Setting. You now need to click on to Engine, and we're now going to go through a few settings. The first option is Rendering. This is very important to improve the performance of the game. You want to select Open GL if you really are struggling with frames per second. This really will improve the performance of the game. You can go with DirectX as long as you have a dedicated GPU, but I do recommend you go with OpenGL. I have a dedicated GPU, but I do find OpenGL is a lot smoother on the frames per second. The next thing is render cache. Enabling render cache is effective in certain games in reducing choppy gameplay. You should keep this enabled. I do recommend you keep it enabled. The next thing is enforce global render cache. You want to keep this enabled as well, as it will help improve the performance of the games. Prioritize dedicated GPU. This depends if you have a dedicated GPU. If you do, then it can help improve frames per second. I did find enabling this option did help with the frames per second slightly, but it also did make the game slightly choppy. So I do recommend you disable this option. And also if you don't have a dedicated GPU, then you don't want to enable it anyway. Rendering optimization. This only works if you have OpenGL Plus enabled or DirectX Plus, which means we actually want to disable this option. anti analyzing you now have three options. We have Close, Balanced and Ultimate. You want to go with the Close option as this really will improve the frames per second. And Memory is set to Auto. We actually want to turn this to the Max option. On my machine I can select 4GB which is great. That really will help the game. Processor is on Auto. We want to use as many calls as possible. I'm going to go with 8. And for the resolution. This now depends also on your graphics card. The lower the option, then the better the frames per second and the less glitchy the game. 1024 by 576, the game should run absolutely fantastic on that option. I'm going to leave it on that option as the game is in early days and there is quite a bit of lag in it. DPI, this is the same as resolution. You want to go with the lower option, 120. And speakers, playback and recording, that doesn't matter. You now want to go save and go OK. And you now need to close down Game Loop and open it up again. And then we're going to go into Call of Duty and change a few more settings. Once Call of Duty has loaded and you have signed into the game, you now need to click on the settings cog. And we now need to go across to audio and graphics. This is a very important part of the graphics adjustment. You now have a few different options. You can go from low all the way up to max. I recommend if you have a not so fast computer, then you definitely want to go with low graphics quality. If you have a average computer, then you can go with medium to high. And if you have a really good computer, then of course you can go with very high or max. I personally, if you want to have complete decent frames per second and no lag whatsoever, depend well, no matter what computer you have, you want to go on medium. With the frame rate, you want to change this to medium as well. And depth of field, you want to have this off. Real time shadow, you want to turn this off as well. And you want to make sure anti-analyzing is off and ragdoll is off and bloom. And that is it for the graphics. Your graphics should now look like this. Once you're happy with that, you now need to scroll down. And we now have the Battle Royale mode graphic style. You have realistic, dynamic or standard. 
you want to now select standards and we can now go ahead and close down the game and open it up again and your new graphic settings will be applied. If you don't have a frames per second overlay like I do, I'm using the Nvidia one, then I do recommend you go to the top right hand corner of game loop and click on the three lines and then click on show frames per second. And in the top left hand corner now you will see the frames per second. If you are still finding the frames are dropping, then you want to lower this down to low for graphics quality and low for frame rate. And if you are still struggling with frames per second and choppiness, then the next thing I would suggest you do is make sure you are running the latest drivers for your graphics card. I will put the links in the description below to AMD, Nvidia and Intel. Also, make sure you have got the latest updates for Windows installed. And also make sure you have the latest DirectX installed. I will put a link to the website for that as well and a link to a video I've done on how to update your DirectX. And then finally, make sure Game Loop is up to date. To do this, all you need to do is click on the three lines and just click on update when you're not in game. If you are still struggling with video problems as well, just simply click on clean cache. I would recommend you do this anyway after setting all these settings and that will basically give the game a nice refresh. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.